I am about to press the button that releases one million rabbits into this wasteland. Look at this satellite time lapse. You can literally see the desert turning green week by week. We aren't just building a project. We're building a self-replicating army of terraformers. But to make all this happen, they first had to build a cage bigger than a country. This is the containment grid, a 500-mile-long solar-powered fence built first to seal off the entire battleground. You can't just throw rabbits into a desert. Before anything else, they built a secret underground network for water and life support. This was the next step, Operation Bunny Drop. The insane logistics of moving a one million strong biological army into position. It all starts here. To build a river, you must first tap into a real one. This is China's south to north water diversion project. An army of machines begins the dig, carving a new artery across the country that will carry billions of gallons of water. But you can't just have a dirt ditch. This giant 3D printer lays down the concrete riverbed, making it strong and preventing leaks. The new river has to cross mountains and valleys. So they are building dozens of these colossal aqueduct bridges. The water is heavy. The steel is the bone. If the bone is not strong, everything will collapse. It takes 50 truckloads of concrete to create a single 100-foot section of the water bridge. The river needs a heartbeat, and this factory is building the giant hearts that will pump the water over the mountains. This is the most critical lift. This single turbine will move more water in a day than a small city uses in a month. To power a pump this big, you need its own power station. This facility draws energy directly from the main grid to drive the pumps. Look at the power! They are testing the first pump, and you can feel the entire building shake. While the river was being built, another production line was running, manufacturing the two million steel posts for the containment grid. The post pounder works for sand, but out here it's solid rock. So they brought in this beast to drill the holes first. The fence mesh is custom made, woven by machines that create a pattern too small for a rabbit to get through, but strong enough to stop a car. Rabbits are smart, they dig. This barrier goes three feet down. They will not get under. Every mile, there is a gate like this one, controlled remotely from the command center to allow access for maintenance crews. The fence isn't just a wall, it's a power plant. Every one of these panels helps run the sensors and security systems. We're calibrating the network. This drone mimics the heat signature and movement of a desert fox. The fence needs to tell the difference. But before you plant the desert, you need the trees. This nursery grew 20 million saplings just for the first phase of this project. The first wave of planting happens from the air. These drones are dropping millions of seed bombs to create the initial ground cover. You can't buy a machine like this. So they designed and built a fleet of 100 of them just for this project. Each machine is a self-contained planting factory, carrying 1,000 trees and enough water to give each one a fighting chance. They're not just planting randomly, they're creating a precise grid designed to act as a windbreak and maximize moisture capture. This is the aorta, the main pipeline that brings water from the aqueduct and branches out to feed the entire 500 mile zone. This is the moment of truth for the pipeline. We're taking it to 150% of its operational pressure. They also had to build 10,000 of these, smart water stations that will give the rabbit army a safe place to drink. And where do the workers live? They built a whole city in the desert with dorms, cafeterias, and even a basketball court. And this is the brain, a hardened command center built to withstand sandstorms and control every aspect of the project. These aren't just any rabbits. They're a special breed, raised in a biosecure facility to be perfectly healthy and adapted for the desert. They even have a custom diet. They are carbo-loading the rabbits before their big mission. Every single rabbit gets a full health check and a vitamin boost before they are released. This is subject one. We've tagged one out of every 10,000. We need to know exactly how they move and where they go. The release must be synchronized. All units deploy on my command. We need an even spread, no clustering. This is it. The army is on the move. A hundred trucks carrying one million soldiers to the front line. The release is a synchronized military-grade operation. 
the entire convoy is positioned and waits for the go-ahead from the command center. The first step to turning the desert green is turning on the water. The water will travel for three days through the newly built aqueduct before it even reaches the project site. It's here. After a three-day journey, the river has arrived in the desert. The lifeblood of the project is officially flowing. This reservoir will act as the heart of the irrigation network, storing millions of gallons of water to be distributed across the zone. But they don't use the river water directly. It first goes through this massive filtration plant to make sure it's clean and safe. From the main artery, a network of smaller veins is created, designed to carry water to every single acre of the zone. This is the final step of the water system, a drip line for every tree. The system is on. For the first time, controlled, engineered life support is being delivered to the desert. This is our eyes and ears for the sky. To manage a project this big, you need a fleet of eyes. This hangar will house over 50 drones ready to launch at a moment's notice. Before they can fly their missions, every drone is individually calibrated to make sure its data is perfectly accurate. You can't just dump them out. These ramps are designed to give the rabbits a safe and non-stressful way to exit the trucks. All systems are nominal. All teams are in position. We are go for release. With the Army in position, the final step is to electrify the fence. The cage is now officially active. This is it. The final countdown to Operation Bunny Drop. Ten seconds until everything changes. The first soldier steps onto the battlefield. And this is what makes it possible. A network of 10,000 automated water dispensers gives the Army a fighting chance to get established. Immediately, they begin to engineer the environment, digging burrows that will aerate the soil and provide shelter from the heat. Look at this. The fertilizer bombs are already working. This single dropping has created new life. They even have rabbit ambulances. If a drone spots a sick animal, this mobile vet unit is dispatched to help it. They're not just testing the soil by hand. They have drones that can take hundreds of soil samples every single day. The data is coming in faster than we ever imagined. The soil quality is improving at a rate of 5% per week. The trees are already working. They're acting as a natural windbreak, stopping the desert from blowing away. This is a key part of the plan. The rabbits are eating the invasive species, clearing the way for the more beneficial grasses to grow. With this much machinery running 24-7, breakdowns are inevitable. An army runs on its stomach, and this army of machines runs on diesel. To manage the 500-mile zone, they first had to build over 2,000 miles of access roads. They use everything. The rocks they excavate for the pipelines are crushed and reused to build the roads. The water for the workers is even cleaner than the water for the rabbits. This plant can turn muddy river water into bottled water quality. The zone is too remote for fiber optics. This dish is our only link to the outside world. The project is run by a custom-built AI that can make millions of micro decisions every day to keep the ecosystem in perfect balance. When you're this far from civilization, you can't wait for a delivery. They have a spare for every single part on site. The mesh must be tight, like a drum, no slack. The fence isn't just to keep the rabbits in, it's to keep unwanted predators out. Every automated system is tested 100 times. A gate failure could compromise the entire zone. The aqueduct itself is a smart structure with thousands of sensors monitoring its structural integrity in real time. They are constantly testing the materials to ensure quality. You cannot build if you do not know the ground. This 3D map was the first and most important blueprint. Before they dig a single hole, every aspect of the construction is simulated in a powerful digital twin to find the most efficient path. It's too far to truck in concrete, so they built a whole concrete factory right here in the middle of nowhere. Just getting the 20 million trees to the site was a military-grade operation, creating a life-saving grid for the rabbit army. Hundreds of security cameras provide 24-7 surveillance, watching for breaches, damage, or unwanted animal intrusions. The work never stops. While the drivers sleep, the mechanics work all night to get the machines ready for another 12-hour shift. 
every single weld on the main pipeline is x-rayed. A single failure would be catastrophic. Even the crates are custom-engineered, designed to minimize stress on the rabbits during their journey. In a place this dry, fire is a huge risk. Every critical area, like the power plants, has its own automated fire suppression system. To support the weight and vibration of the giant pumps, the foundation for each station is over 30 feet thick. We have to know the mountain before we can move the river. These core samples tell us if the rock is strong enough. Sometimes the construction has to go eye into the mountain. This tunnel is for a critical valve station that will control the flow of the entire river. For the longer tunnels, they don't use explosives. They use one of these, a massive tunnel boring machine. We simulate disasters every day. The AI has to be for human operator. The last post. After months, after months of nonstop work, the great cage is finally complete. The final weld. The 500 mile containment grid is now a single unbroken ring of steel. The construction phase is complete. Now we hand the project over to the real engineers. The stage is set, the life support is on, the cage is locked, and the one million strong army is just waiting for the command. In just 24 hours, the army has dispersed. They instinctively spread out to claim territory, the first step of their conquest. The data is overwhelming. We're seeing the largest coordinated animal migration in history, and it's happening all at once. Look at this. It's an earthquake of rabbits. They are digging hundreds of thousands of burrows, turning over the soil on an industrial scale. We have a problem. This cluster will exhaust the local resources and cause a system collapse. We have to move them. They're using the drones as sheepdogs, gently nudging the army to spread out without causing a panic. One week in, and the satellite soil sensors show the fertilizer bomb is working. The entire desert floor is being enriched. This is incredible. This seed has been dormant for a century, just waiting. The success is so great, it's creating a new problem. The local predators have noticed the all-you-can-eat buffet we've built. You're seeing the food chain being rebuilt in real time. It's brutal, but it's a necessary sign that this is becoming a real, wild ecosystem. I'm back after three months, and the ground is green. It's not a forest yet, but the desert is officially on the retreat. And look at this, the second wave. The army is already breeding, creating a new generation of terraformers born and raised in this new world. The project is no longer a secret. The first scientific data is published, and the world is starting to realize what's happening here. Below the surface, a biological rebar is being formed. The new root network is holding the soil together, preventing erosion. This is why it matters. They haven't just planted grass, they have defeated the dust. The world is taking notice. The UN has sent a delegation to see if this model can be used to fight desertification globally. The expansion is exponential. The more grass that grows, the more the rabbits eat. The more they eat, the more they fertilize. I thought the first harvest would be a cash crop, but I was wrong. This grass is being harvested and used as feed for livestock in nearby provinces. They've turned the entire zone into a living university campus. The next generation of ecologists are being trained right here. One year, I'm standing in the same spot as our first shot, and the desert is gone. As of today, the project is officially profitable. The terraforming engine is now paying for itself. This is the ultimate goal. After the rabbits and the goats, the land is now rich enough to support large-scale agriculture. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this former desert has become a tourist destination. People are paying to see the Great Green Wall. The project has become a brand. The food grown here is marketed as a symbol of China's ecological achievement. The ultimate goal has been achieved. The project no longer needs the man-made river as much. It's now creating its own weather. The training wheels are coming off. The ecosystem is strong enough. We are reducing its reliance on the artificial river. They didn't just build a grassland, they built a city. This town is now home to 50,000 people, all supported by the new green economy. They even thought of this, building bridges so that the original wildlife can migrate into the new resource-rich territory we've built. The success is being replicated. China is now licensing the rabbit army model to other countries to help them fight their own deserts. Five years. It took just five years to turn a dead piece of the planet into this. It's hard to even remember the sand. 
The project is no longer just about stopping sand. It has become a globally significant carbon sink. The project has become a source of national pride, a modern wonder of the world taught to every child in China. They did the impossible. So what's next? They're going to do it again. And they've upgraded the tech. The new planters are 100% robotic and twice as efficient. They learned from phase one. And this is the ultimate vision. The Great Green Wall. They came here to stop a desert, but they ended up creating a new world, a new economy, and a new hope for the future. The concrete river has become a real river, a living part of the new landscape it helped create. My father fought the sand with shovels. I fought it with machines. My son, he will farm it. The work is never done. A new success always creates a new challenge. Now, we have to fight a new kind of war. They're fighting insects with other insects. It's a completely natural, chemical-free form of pest control. For a generation born here, this is the only world they've ever known. A world where the desert is just a story. They said it was impossible. They said you couldn't fight a desert. But here, they proved that, with enough ambition, enough engineering, and a million rabbits, you can do anything.